Hello and good afternoon, listeners. Today, I'm coming to you with another DIY. Today's DIY is on how to make another fabric and duct tape clutch bag. Today's clutch bag is um, a little simpler than the one that we did on a previous video. I perfect this method just a little bit to make it a little simpler. Okay? Um, I'm going to show you what we did. And I just love those animal prints. And then inside is red. Red duct tape. Okay. So to tell you a little bit about this in particular clutch, um, I did a previous video on how to do a duct tape clutch bag using fabric and duct tape. And the method was, mm, it wasn't that great just because of the simple fact that I was just, learning or practicing that duct tape or that clutch bag live. So um, when I did it, I came back and I was like, hmm, I know there's an easier way or a better way that I can do this than the one. I wasted a lot of duct tape in that one clutch bag and the clutch bag wasn't what about, what, 10 inches by 7 inches or something like that. And I used almost a whole roll of duct tape with that. So, um, I went and I thought about it and I came up with this method here. So we're gonna go and I'm gonna I'm gonna leave all the information that I did use or my all the products that I used and all with this bag. And it was super simple and very inexpensive. I made this bag for under um, maybe five dollars with the duct tape and the fabric. I got another fat quarter and a roll of duct tape. The roll of duct tape was four dollars and the um, fat quarter was Ninety seven cents at your local Walmart. And I'm pretty sure most Walmart sell fat quarters. They don't go to a fabric store and get a fat quarter. Okay? So um, I will be posting all that information in the description bar. So look out for that. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you the pictures of the um on uh, how I made this. So I'll be back, alright? Thanks. To get started making this bag, I unfolded my fat quarter out and laid it flat. I measured the width that I wanted for this in particular clutch bag and folded each side of the bag to create that width. Once the sides were folded, I then pressed out the sides to, cre to maintain that shape and then layered my duct tape to the first half or for the first two sections of the bag. I On this bag, I did do three layers of duct tape just so it can stay a little bit more, so it can be more sturdier on this in particular bag. Once I was done laying the duct tape, I then turned it back on its side, or back on the other side, and removed all the excess duct tape just so it wouldn't be sticking out on the, out the sides of the bag. Once I was done with that, I folded the bag up on the wrong side just so I could have that pocket to be able to um, measure how much of the bag that I wanted to, you know, be for, you know, the, the clutch. Once I was done with that, I mashed it down with my hands to kind of create the shape, drew a line on each side so I would know where to staple and staple each side down. Once I stapled everything down, I then covered the staples with duct tape so it would be a little bit more cleaner and polished look. Once I was finished with stapling everything and the sides down and covering them with duct tape, I then folded the bag back out so you could be able to see, of course, you know, the zebra, not the zebra, excuse me, the leopard pattern on it. And let you know, smoothed it out with pushing all the corners out and everything, making sure everything was smoothed out. Then I moved on to the flat part of the bag. With the flat part of the bag, it was super simple. I just created that triangle, that envelope shape, pressing down, you know, the um, the sides of it so I could create that shape, and then covering it with duct tape so it can all be cohesive and everything look the same plus I just love that red with that with that color it's really hot 
once you're finished with that, you can embellish it how you like. I chose to keep mine super simple, but you can embellish yours however you like. And voila, you're all done. Let me know what you think, dolls. Bye.